I used to receive tips when I worked at a pizza place, so it was nice, but I think long term it's a way for employers to pass off <laughs> not paying people. I have made amazing friends at our restaurants and bars that we hang out at, and so we know that they need tips, and so we're we're generous. We're, we're heavy tippers. It's the livelihood of everybody that works here. It's how we all pay our bills. It's how we all live. Tipping. It's been around since the 1800s as a way to say thank you to many service workers. But in 2024, many feel tipping culture has gotten out of hand with certain businesses not normally asking for a tip now doing so. The iPad flipping around you can very easily put a prompt for a tip on there. A recent talker research survey found Americans spend nearly $500 more on tipping a year than they'd like to. But I think we got to understand why. And when we understand why they're doing it and why or not we should do it, we can try to solve some of the emotional burdens of, uh, or the emotional feelings we feel about over tipping or, or not. Luis Guardia is a financial advisor and owner of Tuyo Planning Group in Austin. His advice, set a budget that includes tip money before you go out. Include the uh, notion that if I get great service, this is how much I have allotted for that. I just feel like if you want good service, you should pay for good service. Tim Heck has worked at Barrett's Coffee in Austin for three years, now a manager there. He says tips can potentially double the average worker's salary. It's the biggest revenue source for every barista here. Just think about the fact that everybody over there is working really hard and wants to give you a good experience and you should want to reciprocate. We asked Heck how much one should tip for their cup of coffee. He says a good rule of thumb is... Similar to like at a bar, you get a beer, it's like a dollar. Just like a dollar per drink, I think is a good standard, honestly. Guardia suggests tipping 10 to 15 percent on items costing just a few bucks and says a smile and a thank you go a long way. What about tipping for other services? Here's what Bankrate says. At restaurants, consider tipping at least 18 percent. For ride sharing services like Uber or Lyft, tip 3 to 5 percent of the fare and up. And tip 5 to 20 percent at spas and salons, depending on the quality of the service. Reporting in Austin, I'm Farrah Walton, CBS Austin News.